Hello, I'm Kyron Harrell. And I'm Bryce Bodar. And welcome to Northwest News. First of all, we want to give a big thanks to everyone who came out last Friday for the Go Bananas Pep Rally. If you paid attention, you saw the amazing banana split race, the cheerleaders' multiple performances, and the man in the banana suit that was rolling around. Also, a big thanks to the students that came out to show their spirit and raise the volume as our football team got the dub against Turpin. In homecoming news, our top story, homecoming tickets are now on sale for $10 a piece, available for purchase online through Easy Pay on the Northwest website. In order to buy a ticket, you, all school fees must be paid. The homecoming game takes place on September 30th, followed by the homecoming dance on October 1st, from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Book your tickets today. And now to David Scott with weather. How's it looking out there, David? Thank you, Bryce, for the wonderful news. As of right now, the temperature is approximately 72 degrees with a slight breeze. As you guys know, tonight we play with row at home. We want to get the dub. At kickoff, it's going to be at 7 o'clock. It's going to be approximately 67 degrees. And after we get the dub, the temperature is going to be 62 degrees. On Saturday, we will have a low of 48 degrees and a high of 70 degrees. And it's going to be partially cloudy. On Sunday, we will have a low of 49 degrees and a high of 71 degrees. Another sunny day. Get out and do something, you guys. Thanks, David. The Student Center has been taking donations all week to help support the recovery of Houston from Hurricane Harvey. Teachers have got together and collected 30 plus cases of water and will be shipped to the church to be shipped out after school. With your help, the victims who lost their homes and been driven out can heal and recover from this horrible disaster. Donate today and help Houston heal. In Chapter Officer News, the 2017 to 2018 class officers for the digital media class are Adam Haynes for President, Karen Harrell for Vice President, David Scott for Secretary, Patrick Crockett as Treasurer, Aaron Schaus as reporter, and Bryce Baldock as parliamentarian. And for Clark's class, Nicholas Harper for president, Malcolm McEwen for vice president, Safa Azad for secretary, Brennan Gearing for treasurer, Dion Andrews for reporter, and Devin Brown for parliamentarian. And now we head over to Benaiah Shaw with sports and local stories. Thank you, Kyron. Well, folks, we have an interesting week ahead of us this following week. Tomorrow, Friday, we have our second home football game against Winthrop at 7 o'clock in this Pleasant Run Middle School night. So bring all your little brothers, little sisters from Yay High to Yay Big. Bring them out. I got a chance to catch you with Isaiah Loveless for the Skyline Crosstown Showdown MVP for his performance during last Friday's football game. Hello, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? So, uh, so how you feel about winning the MVP last Friday? I feel good. I just had to go out there and do what uh, I was coached to do by the coaches. They can try to get the W. And that's what we did. I got the dub, man. I got the dub. So, uh, when the next game? This Friday against Withrow here. It's uh, USA for the student section. Come out and watch the support. Yeah, support them, man. They're going to get the dub once again. So, uh, what's your plans after uh, high school? Uh, I'm going to try to go to a four-year college and try to go on an athletic scholarship. Y'all see, he got the skills, he got the MVP, so do what he do. So, woo! And I got a chance to catch up with Danielle Mahaffey, our Tennessee Volleyball Commit for an interview. Hello, Danielle. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. So, tell me a little bit about the game coming up. Um, we have a game Saturday against Tippecanoe. Um, all the girls are getting ready. We have practice on Friday, so be excited. Y'all better eat, cause if they don't eat, defeat. But uh, so uh, tell me a little bit about what you're gonna do after high school. Um, after high school, I'm going to Tennessee to play volleyball. I'll be majoring in mathematics. Go from there. Tennessee. So is it a reason why you chose Tennessee? Um, I chose Tennessee because it has a great campus and the coaches are all easy to talk to and um, the girls are really good to get along with and everything. It's a good chemistry. Well, you have it. She just told you. You got the game Saturday. Come out, support, show support. You feel Be me? Be there at 12. Be there at 12 because it start when? 12. At 12. You feel me? I mean... <laughs> This upcoming Saturday, we have a cross-country meet at Dover at 8 a.m. Also, we have a JV football game at Winthrop. So come out, support, bring your families, your mamas, your granddaddies, all uh, this, that, and the third. And um, we have a boys' soccer game at Roger Bacon at 345. Come out and support. And also, 
this past Thursday, we had a tennis match here against Middletown. And of course, we brought home the dub because we got nothing but ghosts on our team. This ghosts. Once again, this has been Northwest News. I'm Karen Habrell, bringing news for the students from the students. See you next week. And I'm Bryce Baldock, always giving a special thanks to Baylor Tech and our providers that make this possible, and even a bigger thank you to the viewers. Good night, everybody. I still